photoelectric effect, phenomenon in which electrically charged particles are released from or within a material when it absorbs electromagnetic radiation. The effect is often defined as the ejection of electrons from a metal plate when light falls on it. In a broader definition, the radiant energy may be infrared, visible, or ultraviolet light, X-rays, or gamma rays. The material may be a solid, liquid, or gas, and the released particles may be ions, electrically charged atoms or molecules, as well as electrons. The phenomenon was fundamentally significant in the development of modern physics because of the puzzling questions it raised about the nature of light, particle versus wave-like behavior, that were finally resolved by Albert Einstein in 1905. The effect remains important for research in areas from material science to astrophysics, as well as forming the basis for a variety of useful devices. In the late 19th century, a German physicist named Heinrich Hertz stumbled upon a curious phenomenon while experimenting with radio waves. Hertz was trying to prove the existence of electromagnetic waves, as predicted by James Clerk Maxwell's theory. He used a spark gap generator to produce these waves and a receiver with a similar gap to detect them. During his experiments, Hertz noticed something peculiar. When he shone ultraviolet light on the receiver's gap, sparks were generated more easily. It seemed that the light somehow facilitated the jumping of sparks across the gap. This unexpected observation marked the first glimpse of the photoelectric effect. Intrigued by Hertz's findings, another German physicist, Philip Lenard, decided to investigate further. He conducted a series of meticulous experiments to understand the nature of this light-induced spark enhancement. Leonard used a vacuum tube equipped with two metal plates, one illuminated by light and the other connected to a circuit to measure the current. Leonard discovered that shining light on the illuminated plate caused electrons to be emitted, creating a current. This phenomenon, he realized, was the underlying mechanism behind Hertz's observations. Leonard's experiments provided crucial insights into the photoelectric effect and paved the way for a deeper understanding of light's interaction with matter. The photoelectric effect presented a significant challenge to the prevailing scientific understanding of light at the time. This phenomenon, where light striking a metal surface ejects electrons, couldn't be explained by the existing theories. Classical physics, which had successfully explained numerous physical phenomena, seemed inadequate in explaining this new puzzle. The established wave theory of light was particularly under scrutiny. According to classical wave theory, the energy carried by light is proportional to its intensity, which is determined by the amplitude of the wave. This means that a brighter light, with higher amplitude, should theoretically carry more energy. Therefore, brighter light should carry more energy and eject electrons with greater kinetic energy. This was the expectation based on the wave theory. However, Leonard's experiments showed that the energy of the emitted electrons depended on the frequency of light, not its intensity. This was a groundbreaking discovery that contradicted the classical wave theory. Furthermore, classical physics predicted that there would be a time lag between the light shining on the metal and the emission of electrons. This delay was thought to be necessary for electrons to absorb enough energy. This delay was expected because the electrons would need time to absorb enough energy from the light waves to overcome the metal's binding force. The process was assumed to be gradual. However, experiments showed that electron emission was practically instantaneous, regardless of the light intensity. This immediate response suggested that the existing theories were incomplete and needed revision. Section 5. Einstein's genius the photon hypothesis. In 1905, a young Albert Einstein, then a patent clerk in Bern, Switzerland, revolutionized our understanding of light by proposing a daring hypothesis. Einstein suggested that light, in addition to its wave-like nature, also exists as discrete packets of energy called quanta, later known as photons. 
Einstein proposed that each photon carries a specific amount of energy determined by its frequency, not its amplitude. This energy is given by the equation E equals HF, where E is the energy of the photon, H is Planck's constant, and F is the frequency of light. This revolutionary idea formed the foundation of what we now call quantum theory. Section 6. Unlocking the mystery. The photoelectric equation. Building upon his photon hypothesis, Einstein formulated a simple yet elegant equation to describe the photoelectric effect. The equation, known as Einstein's photoelectric equation, states Ke equals Hf minus W, where Ke is the kinetic energy of the emitted electron, Hf is the energy of the incident photon, and W is the work function of the metal. The work function represents the minimum energy required for an electron to escape from the metal's surface. Einstein's equation explained the puzzling observations that had baffled scientists for years. The energy of the emitted electrons depended on the frequency of light because each photon carried a specific amount of energy determined by its frequency. Section 7. Millikan's Proof Validating Einstein's Theory while Einstein's theory provided a compelling explanation for the photoelectric effect, it was initially met with skepticism from the scientific community. It took several years and meticulous experimental verification before it gained widespread acceptance. American physicist Robert Millikan played a crucial role in confirming Einstein's theory. Millikan conducted a series of precise experiments to measure the charge and energy of electrons emitted from various metals illuminated with different frequencies of light. Millikan's results, published in 1916, provided strong experimental evidence supporting Einstein's photoelectric equation and the quantization of light. His work not only validated Einstein's revolutionary ideas, but also earned him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1923. Section 8. A Paradigm Shift from Classical to Quantum The photoelectric effect, along with Einstein's explanation, marked a turning point in the history of physics. It provided compelling evidence for the quantization of light and laid the foundation for the development of quantum mechanics, a revolutionary theory that governs the behavior of matter at the atomic and subatomic levels. The photoelectric effect demonstrated that light, in addition to its wave-like properties, also exhibits particle-like behavior. This wave-particle duality became a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics, revolutionizing our understanding of the nature of light and matter. Section 9. The Photoelectric Effect in Action From Sensors to Solar Panels the photoelectric effect, once a scientific curiosity, has found numerous practical applications in various fields, shaping our modern world in countless ways. This phenomenon, first explained by Albert Einstein, has revolutionized how we understand and utilize light. From light sensors in cameras to solar panels harnessing the sun's energy, the impact of this phenomenon is profound and far-reaching. These applications have become integral to our daily lives, influencing everything from photography to renewable energy. One of the most common applications is in photodiodes, light-sensitive semiconductor devices used in digital cameras, barcode readers, fiber optic communication systems, and many other electronic devices. These tiny components are crucial for converting light into electrical signals and many other electronic devices. Without photodiodes, many of the technologies we rely on today would not function as efficiently or accurately. When light strikes the photodiode, it generates an electrical current proportional to the light intensity, allowing for precise light detection and measurement. This principle is fundamental in various scientific and industrial applications. Another important application is in solar cells, which convert sunlight directly into electricity. 
Solar energy is a clean, renewable resource that is becoming increasingly vital in our efforts to combat climate change. Solar cells rely on the photoelectric effect to generate an electric current when photons from sunlight strike the semiconductor material, freeing electrons and creating a flow of charge. This process is at the heart of solar power technology, enabling us to harness the sun's energy for a sustainable future.